Hi students, welcome back. So let us start with the subject DAA, Design and Analysis of Algorithms. So before going to know, uh, enter into the subject, we have to know the basic concepts in the subject. So let us see the first is the algorithms. So what are the algorithms? What do you call by algorithms? Actually, algorithm refers to a step-by-step. -step. It is a step-by-step -step process performing performing some action okay so algorithm is nothing but it refers to a step by step process performing some actions means here uh, algorithm is nothing but okay this is algorithm first we are giving the input list so input list is nothing but the requirements whatever you want okay so the variables that or the input list okay so input list the program requirements so those will be the input list so now the algorithm is nothing but it is a step by step method for solving a problem or doing a task doing a task and gives the output as a list okay it takes the input list and it performs a step-by-step -step method okay a series of methods step-by-step -step method why we are doing the step-by-step -step method for solving a particular problem or doing a particular task okay so those requirements will be uh, right in a step-by-step -step manner okay that you call it as a algorithm so let us see what are the common terms that are used in the algorithm. Common terms. Okay. So the common terms that are used in the algorithm, the first one is the variables. So we use the variables in writing the algorithm. So what are the variables? Variables refers to a specific location in a computer. It refers to a specific location in computer memory use it to store one and only one value okay a variable is nothing but it is just a simple variable like a x i like that okay it is a, what it says means it uh, specific a specific location in computer memory use it to store okay it indicates one memory location in the computer system okay only stores one and only one value in one particular location one memory location will occupy only one variable okay so this uh, this is one of the term that used in the algorithm so next coming to the second one second one is data type okay so next common term that used in the algorithm is data type data types is nothing but it is a set of variables set of variables takes its values okay here we declare the variable okay that variable will occupy a memory location in the computer system whereas data type is a term that used in the algorithm it indicates a set of variables takes its values okay so next third one is the statement so statement is one of the common term that used in the algorithm so statement is nothing but it is a just a line of codes so line of codes you call it as a statements okay so these are the common terms that are used in the algorithm variables data types and statements so now coming to the properties of algorithm so so far we discussed that algorithm is nothing but it is step by step method for solving a particular problem or doing a task simple task okay so now let us see the properties properties of 
algorithm. So the first property is input. Okay. So starting we have to give the input. So whatever the uh, requirements, whatever the information we are giving to this uh, algorithm that you call it as a input. So input refers to the its algorithm uses values from a specific set. Okay. It takes one specific set of items will be there. Those you call is a input. The uh, these inputs will be used by the algorithm. So algorithm uses a values from a specific set. You call it as this input. So uh, next coming to the output. Output is another property. So output means here for each input, the algorithm produce values from a specific set. So for each input, it specifies for each input, the algorithm produces values from a specific task okay so this is the input is one of the property output is another property next third property precision so what do you mean by this precision precision is nothing but it is a steps or precisely defined so those you call it as a precision. So precision is one of the property used in the algorithm. Next property, correctness. Okay, so uh, the here the algorithm uses the correctness property because here the output is correct for each input as defined by the problem. So whatever the input is defined, input is defined for that output is correct it will be checked by the algorithm uh, next coming to the fitness so next fifth property is fitness so fitness is nothing but here uh, algorithm produces the output after a fin finite number of steps for each input so it produces uh, Algorithm produces output after finite, finite number of steps for each input. That is a fitness. So here the algorithm produces output after finite number of steps for each input so whatever the inputs we are taking so it produce uh, output as a f after finite number of steps that you call it as a fitness so fitness is one of the property of algorithm so next is the determination so determination is nothing but at uh, the result should be guaranteed so whatever the inputs you are given the output will be the list input list you will get the output list so that you call it as a determination means the result should be guaranteed result should be guaranteed okay so next one is the generality so the another property of algorithm is generality Generality means it produces, here the algorithm produces, sorry, here the procedure applied to all problems, not a special subset. So what it means, the generality means it the procedure whatever the procedure you are following that applies to all problems not for a special subset so suppose if you start the algorithm with one procedure okay so that procedure will continues until the end of your algorithm that you call it as a generality the procedure whatever you start at uh, the starting that will be applied to all problems in your algorithm not for a special subset so these are the different properties of the algorithms input output precision correctness fitness determination and generality
okay so uh, actually algorithm can be expressed in many kinds of notations algorithm can be expressed in different notations so that includes that includes natural language the algorithm can be represented can be expressed in the form of natural language okay and it can be expressed in the form of pseudo code and it can be expressed in the form of uh, flowchart notations or programming language okay so here the algorithm algorithms can be expressed in many kinds of uh, notations that includes natural language pseudo code flow chart programming language so in these uh, uh, notations the algorithm can be expressed so this is about the algorithm so in the next video we will discuss about what is a pseudo code